Yeah, unless it looks like I'm really close to a program advance, I'm not going to bother with any of the random virus battles here. And... nope. Because I actually already have Zeta Step 2, so... The step crosses I have in the folder... They're largely just filler, except for Step Cross P. That is part of a program advance I have not yet performed. But the other chips I need for it, they weren't there. Hmm. Well, I am pretty close to Zeta Yo Yo 3 there. And there it is. M N O. Zeta Yo Yo 3. Well, that was easy enough. Right, back at it. Uh, nope, not close to anything there. Okay, once you reach the exit to three, turn around and go straight. There we go. Hi there, Spiky Omega. Okay, I'm actually pretty close to the advance I needed the step cross for. Now, if I can just actually get said step cross. Yeah, the fire from these guys is fast. Open the folder a little bit more. Hmm. And realize that one of the advances I've got in there, I don't actually have the right chips for it. Oops. Make things a little easier on me here and still get hit. Let's see. Go ahead and get those out of here. There we go. Okay, Step Sword, Hero Sword, Step Cross, all coded P and used in that rather strange order. And we get Evil Cut. It uses all three in succession, but you still jump forward, so you do have to adjust for that. Curse Shield 1, Curse Shield 2, Curse Shield 3. We get... Ever curse. And that was not impressive. I guess it has to actually be used as a counter still. Gut impact. Uh, G H I. Zeta impact. I'm a punch ya. And so we've got Spiky Omega and quite a few more program advances under our belt. So, back again with the next one. A uh, last bit of feeding. And the sorties are so honorable, they bow in appreciation. So let's see about this one. They want to introduce you to the boss. The boss likes broken things a lot, and he often appears in areas with broken items. Again, a kind of vague one, but again it's time to go back to the zoo. The broken item in question is the broken alarm panel hidden behind the panda cage. Yeah, that's totally obvious.
So I changed my folder around a little bit because apparently there are only three program advances I haven't done yet, at least that I can currently do. So, into the broken panel. The sortie virus is somewhere in the outer rim here. And that's not you. Uh, yeah, not close to an advance. Okay, maybe one panel in. Uh, again, not close to one. I went ahead and also left Evercurse in the folder in the hopes that I can actually perform that one correctly. Here we go, Sorty Omega. Now this is a bit of a tricky one. Because they will try and get rid of your area and they hit hard. So let's see here. Go invisible. That should be at least somewhat helpful. You know, if only Fast Gauge would stack, that would be lovely. <laughs> oh, here comes the area grabbing. So I hope I get something good soon. Oh, another invisibility. Also, Holy Panel, Recover 300, Roll Version 3. Though Roll can actually be any version. And we get Big Heart. It'll only attack one of them, but better than nothing. And thus we get our full recovery heart as well. Okay, now there's the business. Salamander. Fountain. Bolt. Gaia Blade. They have to be used in that order, and you'll need the asterisk versions of them. Fortunately, you can get those anytime you want from uh, the number trader at Higsby's. And so we get the ridiculously overpowered Master Style. Enjoy! Yep. That'll usually take care of your problems. And so that's four done. Back for the next one. Okay, just one more for you. And it's almost shaking with gratitude. You jelly? Okay. Time to meet the boss. The boss loves hot springs. He often appears in areas with them. Well, that's simple enough. Back to Yoko once again. Though at least this time it's not toward the zoo yet again. Instead, we need to go to the inn this time. Specifically, the hot springs out back, or the mud bath as it is in this version. Into the fountain with us. And we need to look around the hole in the center. There we go. And now I want watermelon. Okay, going to go ahead and go in this here. And also going to go ahead and take out... Okay, let's take out a bit of the competition first, then we'll go in this. Go ahead and get rid of the one that's about to attack. Why not?
besides, Roll's cute enough that she deserves an encore performance. I don't know why I always go ahead and use the fast gauge. <laughs> Maybe I just feel like it'll work if I actually go ahead and use it. Okay, let's see if we can use this advance correctly this time, shall we? I actually do have to use this as a counter. Well, it seems to very happily just keep attacking things anyway. So it does have its purposes. So then, five down, four to go. Back with the next one. A little more, and... Mushy gives Mega Man a little smirk. Smiley shrooms! So, time for the boss. The boss is very fond of medicine. He's often in places that use lots of it. Well, there's certainly a lot of pills flying around the hospital network. It's another of those clues that can be a little irritating just because of how large the hospital area really is. There's, what, five sections to it? Plus, technically, other places in the hospital that you can jack in. The TV, the vending machine. But they want the actual hospital network. Fortunately, he's right at the very start of it, in the door security panel. And what's more, he's right near the jack-in point, too. How convenient! Okay. So... This could be a bit of a tricky one for me, since I'm a lek element. Okay, going to go invisible, going to recover like crazy. Let's see. Still not quite giving me what I'm after. There we go. Rock cube, rock cube, godstone. Use that for good measure. And we get mom quake. Essentially, it's the return of Stone Man, only not time freezing. Just a bunch of random stones dropped on the enemy field. That was a close thing since I was a Lek element. But anyway, we at least got it. Six down, three to go, and I'm done performing program advances for now. We're making good progress. Back with the next one.